Welcome to Western New York Over the Air. In this video, I'll be reviewing the Antan Indoor Window HDTV antenna that I purchased on Amazon for a little over $10. First, I want to get out of the way that there is no such thing as an HD TV antenna. There's also no such thing as a 4K TV antenna or ATSE 3.0 TV antenna or next gen TV antenna or analog TV antenna. A TV antenna from the 1940s could pick up signals today, and the paper clips sitting on your desk right now could do the same. That's it, it's physics. Now that I've gotten that out of the way, let's get back to the review. I'm testing this antenna on the sixth floor of an apartment in Miami, Florida. I'll be using the HD Home Run Flex 4K development version so that I can get SNR readings in dB along with signal strength readings in dBm. And I'll be using VLC to play back the over-the-air streams. First, before you even purchase an antenna, it is crucial to know what frequencies your local television stations are broadcasting on. If you're from Western New York, Southern Ontario, Ontario, more specifically the GTA or South Florida, visit wnyovertheair.com slash channels. There you'll find what frequencies your local television broadcast stations are using. If you're not from Western New York, the GTA or South Florida, use the FCC DTV search. I'll be testing this antenna on the low VHF, high VHF, and UHF bands. If you don't know what low VHF, high VHF, or UHF chef is, watch my video in the card above or in the pinned comment below. First, I tested WEYS LD on RF Channel 6, which is a next-gen TV station in Miami, Florida, WSVN, which is on high VHF RF Channel 9, which is the Fox station in Miami, Florida, WPLG, which is the ABC station in Miami, Florida on RF Channel 10, and for the UHF band, WPBT PBS Miami on RF Channel 29, WFOR CBS Miami on RF Channel Channel 22, WTVJ, which is the Next Gen TV Lighthouse in Miami on RF Channel 31, and WSCV, which is a Telemundo station in Miami on RF Channel 30. I have the antenna attached to the window with the provided adhesive and the other end of the coaxial cable plugged into an HD Home Run Flex 4K. I first tested out WEYS LD with this antenna, which is on the low VHF band on RF Channel 6 and it was unable to pick it up, not even the bootstrap, which is available at a negative 9.5 decibel SNR. So this antenna really sucks at picking up low VHF. Next, I tested out WSVN, which is Fox in Miami, and there were multiple problems with the signal, mainly due to the symbol quality. It would never really consistently stay at 100%. What this means is the signal will break up and pixelate. The SNR never really made it over 20 decibels either, but that doesn't even matter if the TV picture is pixelating. Obviously, this antenna is not made to pick up high VHF, and you can obviously tell that this is not performing well. Slightly moving the antenna around didn't help either. I then tried WPLG ABC Miami, which is on RF channel 10, and it was the same situation where the symbol quality was fluctuating between zero and 100%. The SNR never really stayed consistently above the 18 or 19 decibel mark, and there was all sorts of problems with the TV picture. She's been so good and so aggressive. Next, I tested out WFOR, which is on RF channel 22. This is on the UHF band, and as you can see, it is performing way better with an SNR in the upper 20s, all the way almost to 30 decibels. Next, I tested out WPBT, which is on RF channel 29 on the UHF band, and this one was having a few issues with the signal quality, that SNR dramatically dropping. This speaks to the quality of the antenna. Next, I tried WSCV, and this signal was coming in amazingly well at about 30 decibels. There were no problems to report, everything was coming in great. De su vida privada. ¿Quién es Dona Shalala? Lastly, I tested out WTVJ, which is an ATSC 3.0 lighthouse in Miami, owned by NBC Universal. And this station, believe it or not, when I was testing it out, was actually DRM free. 
they've put encryption on and off. And this time when I tested it out, this was March 25th, 2023, it didn't have any encryption and I was able to test it out. It was able to pick up both PLPs, both PLP0, which is the QPSK layer, and PLP1, which is the QAM256 layer, and it didn't have any issues picking up any of the streams. Overall, this antenna worked out well for the UHF band, but if you want stable reception for lower frequency channels in the VHF range, like low and high VHF, this is really not the antenna for you. The included attached coaxial cable is very thin and it's very poor quality. Compare that to a Channel Master RG6 cable, which is nice and sturdy and firm and has a lot of protection. Whenever you're dealing with RF in a wire, you always wanna make sure that the cable's as thick as possible because it'll cut down on interference. Overall, it's better to use the Channel Master flat antenna with a nice RG6 coaxial cable than to use this antenna. That being said, I don't even recommend indoor antennas for use with ATSC 1.0, the current digital TV standard, unless the signals are very strong. This is because multipath is most prevalent indoors, where people are moving around. The most reliable reception is always in an attic or outside. If you'd like professional advice from me, consider purchasing an antenna recommendation at wnyovertheair.com. If you like this video, consider subscribing and liking the video. Follow Western New York Over the Air on Instagram at wnyovertheair. Like Western New York over the air on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash WNY over the air and check out WNYOverTheAir.com for live band scans, cord cutting tips, and much more.